So I thought I'd make a video since I've uh, just recently gotten the MSR reactor. Um, I used to have a pocket rocket um, and a regular cook set from GSI. Uh, I believe it's the uh, Glacier Duo stainless steel version. And so I'm going to do a boil off. It is uh, middle of January in Texas, 2016. Pretty pretty chilly out. Maybe maybe 38 degrees. Uh, this is cold tap water, and I'll be measuring out the water in equal amounts, try and put as many controls on the experiment as I can. Have two unused brand new fuel canisters, and we'll see what boils first and what the times are. One thing I will say about the uh, pocket rocket setup here is that I just unpacked the uh, Glacier Duo uh, cook set from GSI. It's got the uh, stainless steel pot here. Um, pretty nice. Got the little folding handle comes up top. Um, the set here, the cook cookware, uh, contained two bowls. Each have their own lid. Uh, if you want to make a little sippy cup out of it, um, there's two little spork things that collapse down. Uh, pretty compact. They're kind of tough to get in there, but they do collapse in a little pouch. And uh, then the actual uh, the pocket rocket itself and its container fit inside one. So all of this here fit into this pot, and this pot fit into, they call this a sink, it's waterproof, and it slides over that guy. So there's, there's quite a bit you can carry with this setup when you're using a smaller stove like the pocket rocket. In comparison to the pocket rocket setup that we just did, the uh, MSR reactor setup, um, it just comes with, uh, you have no case or sink or anything comes with it, uh, like did over there um, for the GSI set that uses the uh, pocket rocket stove. Uh, but what fit in here was the actual, uh, the stove element here uh, for the reactor. And that's paired specifically with this, they pair together. And there's a uh, little felt thing, this guy cushions in, and it drops in there like that. And then you can actually fit an entire fuel canister inside of the reactor. And this is a, I don't know if I can get the light on there, but an 8 ounce, 8.11 ounce fuel canister here. And uh, it does have a clear lid, uh, which is different than the GSI set. I want to point out though that um, all this came together here, but when you buy the pocket rocket, all you get is this. You get a case and the stove. You have to buy the cook set, and I'm using the GSI. And you have to pay for that stuff separately over there. All right, and now I'll get to measuring stuff out, and we'll boil them off. Getting set up for the boil off here, we've got uh, some cold tap water from the sink, uh, so same water source for both vessels, and we've got four and a half cups of water measured into each container, and just to give you an idea of what that looks like, um, I'll put my finger there, it's about here on the reactor, and uh, about there on the uh, GSI uh, Duo cook set. Uh, pot there. So same water temperature, same water amount. So we will have this uh, brand new fuel for each stove, uh, same brand for that. So this will be as close as an identical test situation as we can uh, generate here. All right, so we're going to, uh, just a comparison for time, uh, again, brand new fuel. This is the reactor. So just pop it on there and spin done. This is the uh, pocket rocket. Same deal, just made it up there. There you go. Okay, so lighting them up. Go with the pocket rocket first. And we'll go through the reactor here. Oh. No, I turned it off, that was my fault. <laughs> Keep turning it the wrong way. Alright. 
both get them up high. And they'll start to boil for each of them. We'll have to make up for that difference. Looking at the time here. So the you see the pocket rocket here. It's a lot noisier and uh, uh, the wind does have the ability to blow right up in there. Make sure it's centered. You have to center it kind of yourself there. And uh, this they make together, so wind really can't get in there, and it's radiating the heat. Um, so that's the difference between the two and the cooking setup. You see the uh, reactor sits a little bit shorter, so it's a little bit more stable. It's got a snugger fit in the pocket rocket with the little legs holding it up. And this is clear, but it's hard to see through when it starts getting hot. I mean, you have to uh, pour it. Just, just do it unboiled, huh? Or uncovered. So we can see who boils first uncovered. We're gonna go until we see a rolling boil. Okay, I'm noticing that there's uh, more bub bubbling coming off of this guy. And this guy's got little bubbles, but this one's, uh, you can see it rolling there already all right we've reached a rolling boil on the reactor already that is Whew, I'm gonna turn that guy down okay yeah clear winner here <laughs> that was, uh... boils water like a champ uh, so I turned that off and you can see that's uh, you know, definitely boiling, a rapid, violent boil. So we'll see how much longer it takes for this guy to uh, hit that kind of boil right there. That was, an, that was an intense boil rapidly. On the fuel setting here, it's uh, going. And going. <laughs> Got small bubbles coming off now. It's a little bit windy out here, it is. Uh, as you can see from the steam blowing around, it's there's a breeze out here, so that could be affecting it here. So much heat is escaping from around the base as compared to this, which is a complete fit. Oh, so we've hit a rolling boil now. Let's see how long it takes to get violent. There you go, it's shaking on its own now. So now that has hit a violent rolling boil. Yep. And you see, I remember when I turned this off, 
it was uh, still boiling because the residual heat in the heat sink. But when I turned off the pocket rocket, it immediately stopped boiling because um, there was no more heat entering the system. Uh, so that is the comparison between uh, the MSR <clears throat> pocket rocket and the MSR reactor cook set. Again, the pocket rocket and the reactor had uh, identical fuel, brand new. It was, uh, they're both using the jet boil, uh, jet power, isobutane propane fuel mix, the eight ounce, 8.11 ounce. Uh, they both had, I believe it was four and a half cups of the same cold tap water, uh, measured out with a measuring cup, so the same amount. And uh, the jet, the pocket rocket actually had a little bit more time at the beginning, but clear winner here is the reactor. And I did have both of the lids off. Um, because you can't really see much with either, because this is, it is clear plastic, but it's just straight up, uh, it's too foggy, can't say anything. I assume when it boils, it would clear it off. You know what, I'm gonna try that. We're gonna boil the reactor again, see if it, when it boils, it'll clear itself. All right, so here is the reactor just on its own, and you can tell the volume difference. It is so much quieter than this pocket rocket, and they call it the pocket rocket because it sounds like a rocket. It's just loud. Uh, you can see this is brilliant red. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get it to, there you go. That's what it looks like in real life, just a deep, deep red um, on this stove here with some slight blue flames escaping on the sides here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put this water back on. It was already boiled recently, so it's still pretty warm. We're gonna see if the water will clear the lid to tell us it's boiling, because it's uh, you can't see through there again now. We'll let go. I mean, I can see, oh, yeah, it's starting to shake. Yeah, you see all that steam escaping. But you still can't uh, see through here. The water's not, well, I mean, you can tell it's boiling because look at all that. <laughs> there's, uh, there's your sign that it's boiling. A little tornado coming out of there. Um, but the plastic whew, does not become clear, the boiling water. Uh, I'm going to turn this off here because it's uh, shaking a lot. <clears throat> anyway, the water does not impact this to make it uh, clear. It's still a little bit opaque with the condensation. Well, uh, so, clear winner between the two. Uh, there's the pros and cons for each. This, the cons are that you're stuck with this paired together, uh, you can't use, say, a frying pan or whatever you want uh, like you can with the pocket rocket. The pocket rocket, I could take this off and put anything that's flat and can fit on top of those uh, stands there. And you can cook whatever you want. However, the wind, as we saw, impacted this and uh, the thermal transfer, the heat transfer wasn't as efficient as it was with this system. Uh, because the wind could not impact this, it was radiating heat, and all of the heat was being uh, transferred via this heat sink. So it was capturing all the heat and transmitting it to the water much more efficiently than was the pocket rocket. Um, overall weight, I'd say um, if you carry all of the stuff that is, you know, entailed with the GSI stainless steel duo, then they're close. They're both pretty heavy, but I think the um, reactor is probably a little bit lighter setup overall. But you do lose options. You don't get the bowls that you get. Um, it's not all self-contained. You don't get the sink that you do when you have the pocket rocket there, but you just get the fuel and the cook system there. So this is really just a champ for boiling water. Um, cleaning it out, I haven't cleaned it out. Uh, I'll be honest, this is brand new here. So I have not taken out 
the reactor on a camping trip yet. This was a, a pre pre trip experiment to see. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, have a good day.